what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today's video is a snowstorm out in the middle of the forest now i brought a very special shelter today because i've been waiting for loads of snow to get this bad boy out so this is my personalized lone wolf 902 shelter and i am itching to camp in the snow tonight with it so i still got a little bit more stuff to get squared away it is forecasted to snow over 12 inches and this is all fresh snow, what you're seeing right here. This is coming down actively right now. So I have to hurry and get all this stuff squared away, make sure I don't lose anything in the snow. I did bring a wood stove with me, which I also have to get set up. And then of course, we're gonna need loads of firewood, which is gonna be the messy part. So I'm gonna continue setting up and then off to get that firewood, guys.
All right, guys, so I've got all my wood cut and split and set inside of the tarp area. Got the fire going. The stove is actually putting out quite a bit of heat, even in the open tarp configuration. Coming inside, I can already feel it's noticeably warmer. Now, I'm not going to be relying on the wood stove for heat, of course. I do have my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag and my ground sheet still in my backpack tucked away nice and dry. When it is time for bed, I'll clear out the snow with my shovel and lay that stuff in the back of the tarp. That way it'll be nice and warm and dry when I need to go to sleep. So I do have a kettle full of snow on top of the stove right now. I'm gonna melt that down, bring it to a boil, make up a hot tea in my water bottle, enjoy that quickly, and then it is gonna be time to start on supper because it is getting dark rather quickly. The winds are picking up. The snow is still driving through here like crazy. Two thumbs up on this. This is my kind of weather and I'm definitely enjoying it. So I'm gonna let this kettle do its thing, melt that down, bring up to a boil, and then we'll enjoy a hot drink. All right, guys, well, with this hot tea made up, I'm definitely going to enjoy it right now. It is so hot and my hands are so cold that I honestly don't know if I'm burning my hands on the cup or not, because typically the cup's extremely hot. So hopefully I don't end up with burns. This, this typically happens with cold hands on hot objects. You don't actually feel the burns until later on when you see the damage that's done, but hopefully I don't end up burning myself. So. I am absolutely drenched right now. I will mention that it is cold. My pants are wet. My boxers are soaked. Uh, my gloves are soaked. Now I fully knew that this was going to happen coming out in this snow being really fine misty snow plus the wood stove. There is a lot of heat rolling out of there right now and as I go in and out it's melting rather quickly. So I do have a full complete change of clothing, pants, socks, underwear, shirt, all that stuff and I will be wearing my wool hoodie again tomorrow. Now the benefit with wool is it insulates whether it's wet or dry. So that's the reason why I like wearing this in the winter time. Now I did find this at a thrift shop many years ago. I will mention that now because I get asked every video I go out and I wear this hoodie. I always get asked where I found it. It is from a thrift shop. There is no tag on it at all. I apologize, I do not know the brand. But with that said, it is getting dark and my tea is getting cold, so I'm going to enjoy this right now. I'm going to take a walk down to the lake while we still have a little bit of light, take a look out over the water, come back up and start on supper, guys.
All right, well, down here at the edge of the lake, you guys can see that there is no view. Across the lake, I can't even see the trees. It is total whiteout over there, and it is definitely blowing snow rather hard right now. It is cold, it is getting frigid out here, so without any view, there's no point in being out here exposed. So I'm gonna make my way back over towards the tarp and start on supper. Alright guys, while that food's cooking away on top of the stove, I'm going to get my air pad filled up here and get it ready to basically jump in because 
I am soaked. That is totally cold and wet to sit on. So as soon as I'm finished eating, I'm basically going to get changed into my clothes and get in the sleeping bag and on top of the sleeping pad because like I said guys, it is cold out here. As you can see, the snow is not letting up. It is coming down like crazy. So I'm going to inflate this really quickly, get it inside, and uh, hopefully by then food will be ready. Well, food is ready and I am extremely hungry, extremely cold and extremely wet right now. And again, this snow is just not letting up. So I'm gonna eat this really quickly. As you guys can see in the background, I do have my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag ready to go. As soon as I'm done this, I'm jumping in. I'm gonna get in my change of clothes, get that out of my backpack and I'm gonna call it a night. So I'm gonna eat up, jump in there and that's a wrap for tonight guys it is too cold and too wet oh yeah that is definitely good though definitely good Okay guys, it is definitely very, very cold out right now. It's coming up to negative 12 degrees Celsius and it doesn't seem like much, but I'm soaking wet right now. So that is a very, very dangerous mix, cold and, uh, and being wet. So I'm gonna be getting inside of my sleeping bag as soon as I'm changed out of my clothing. I'm gonna be using the tripod as basically a stand to keep my boots elevated up in the heat channel area. So hopefully those will dry out overnight in the morning. I've got a load of firewood underneath of the wood stove and behind the wood stove to keep it nice and warm. And basically, this is going to be it for the night. I'm crawling in my sleeping bag once I'm all changed, and I'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning, hopefully with a hot drink on top of this wood stove. But we'll see what happens, guys. Good night, and I'll catch you in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. It is a freezing cold morning today, and it got really, really windy last night, and it snowed a lot. So don't let this fool you right here because the wind has been sweeping through here all night long, blowing a lot of this snow off. I've had to clear the tarp probably a dozen times inside of there. I had a lot of the snow weight coming down on my feet and on my face area, so I had to keep banging off the tarp. But everything held really, really well. I'm actually quite surprised with those high winds last night. Had I have kept on filming and stayed out here, I guaranteed would have been in serious danger with hypothermia and I would have lost camera gear for sure. It was cold, windy, and snowy, guys. So I've got the fire going right now. I slept very, very warm, I will say that. I loaded in a bunch of logs and a lot of that heat was still rolling inside of the shelter. The problem was, was the heat was rolling so much that it was actually melting the snow and it was going down the side of the tarp while I was awake. So I had to come outside and actually bang off chunks of ice that were forming on the bottom. But once I did crawl in and actually stay in for the night, I let the stove burn out and that's when things started to accumulate. So right now there is no snow. Gray sky up there though, and it is a little breezy. So I'm gonna take a walk just over the forest area to show you what kind of snow accumulation happened over there. And, uh, and then come back over here. It's gonna be a very simple morning today. I've got coffee on the go right now. I'm not gonna be doing breakfast over the stove. I have cold food, like regular food, non-cooked stuff that I'm gonna eat. And um, that's basically it. So I've got a lot to clean up. I've got a lot of stuff to square away, make sure I don't lose anything in the snow. But for now, I'm going to enjoy morning coffee, go for a little stroll. Well guys, down here by the lake, we actually have a pretty decent sunrise view across the water. Last night was total whiteout, couldn't see anything. Today, looking pretty awesome out there. So this is definitely a treat, waking up after a storm, having a beautiful view out there. It is still cold, but I'll take it any day. So I'm gonna make my way back up to the tarp. Coffee is starting to cool down quite quickly and the view is stunning. I could sit here all day watching that. And there's even little tornadoes of the wind wisping through the powdered snow, so that's pretty awesome. But uh, I'm going to make my way back up to the tarp now, warm this up, and I think it's going to be time to get that stove burned out and start the pack up process because it's likely going to be a long one.
right guys, coffee's all finished up. I've got the tarp cleared off enough to actually take it down. But first, I gotta do the deed of getting that wood stove out of there. So I'm gonna need my leather gloves back on for that. It is full of wood right now, still burning quite strong. Even though it's hard to tell with that glass being all black and I had to dump a ton of birch bark in there yesterday and tonight to get that going. I was burning all oak, really, really dense oak that is dead because this area is a logging area where in the past logging industry has come in here and left a ton of wood just over behind the tarp, just sitting there drying every summer. So regular viewers, you, you probably recognize this location, but um, I got to get that out of there and dump it out. The fire pit is situated right here. I know it's hard to see because all the snow. So I'm just going to move some of my equipment out of the way so we don't accidentally burn it. And I want to dump all the embers in there. I'm assuming there's quite a bit of wood in here. I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Well, there's not a whole lot, but there is definitely fire in there. So let's get this down, get it dumped out, get it packed away, and start the task of cramming everything into the backpack. Realistically, there's not a whole lot of gear. It's just the tarp, the stove, sleeping bag, and sleeping pad. Everything else is really small items that can all just cram in on top. And the reason why I like bringing my sleeping bag out of the stuff sack is because it's down fill and it will cram in every little void that is left open in the backpack, resulting in a pack that's really not that large in size and not that heavy. So today's loadout, I haven't weighed everything, but I want to say just calculating off the top of my head, probably 30 pounds right around that area i'll put the link to some of these items in the description if you guys are curious about them and maybe a little bit about the specs and whatnot but for right now i've got to get this out of here get it dumped out and get the cleanup done guys so let's get to work All right, with the tarp shelter taken down, the first thing that needs to go in the backpack is the wood stove. And that is basically cool to the touch right now. So I gotta get the sides and the top placed inside of there, get it back inside of the zip bag, which is over here in the snow, and get it back inside of the backpack. And then everything else is gonna go on top of that. And uh, last will be the sleeping bag. So I can just kind of cram it down in all the nooks and crannies. The tarp packs, fairly small. I'm not going to bother putting it in the bag today. It'll be too much work with the ice and snow on it. So I'm just going to fold it long and flat to the shape of my backpack and set it in there on top of the wood stove. So that'll all be in there. No problem. It's not going to be pretty, but it'll be good enough to get home, which is my goal today because everything is frozen, including me. So let's get the deed done, get the stuff sack for the sleeping pad out of there. I'm definitely going to need that so I don't puncture it. Other than that, we are ready to start packing up the backpack. So this is my least favorite part with cold hands. So I'm just going to go through this really quickly, cram it in there, 
and then get on the trail. So that's the hard part done. All that's left now, all the little odds and ends. The sleeping pad inside of here, very small, compact. Kettle, cup, all the small, tiny things, and then the shovel and a couple things on the outside of the pack. Not doing too bad, my hands aren't freezing up yet, so hopefully this will go rather quickly. All right guys, with everything packed away inside of the backpack, it is basically time to go. My hands are frozen and I'm starting to feel the cold, so I gotta get moving. All that's left here is firewood to the lucky individual that comes here next time. Perhaps it'll be me, who knows. If whoever comes here will definitely have a nice start to their camping experience. I'm gonna kick some more snow on top of those coals make sure they're totally out. And I've got one frosty backpack to carry out of here. So I thank you guys very much for joining me on this epic winter adventure. I've been waiting for a good storm to get out with a tarp and it finally came. So I'm about to get this on and get out of here, get the video edited and uploaded for you guys. So peace out, catch you in the next one.